This is how I made two simple but effective garden trellises. Everything started with breaking down the cedar fence boards into all the individual pieces. To make this easier to explain, let's jump to an animation. It takes two cedar 1x6x8 fence boards to make one panel. But let's just look at how I laid out one board to cut half the materials. With the rounded edges removed, you'll be able to cut one strip at 3.5 inches, which will make up the vertical and horizontal front panel. That's going to leave you with a 1 and 3 quarter inch strip, which will be used for the vertical and horizontal back panel. By the way, save all your cutoffs for a later step. Looking for more precise measurements, I've posted the SketchUp file on my website that you'll be able to download. Here you go, super quick pro tip over at the miter saw. I have cut this board uh, after trimming off just that little bit of waste at the end, just that raw edge, I cut that off. Now, my second piece, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually spin my board around because this is a bit of a crack in it. Usually the end's cracked more than the middle. So now that it's spun around, I'm gonna take my measurement and I'm gonna cut this end off. That way I'm using the nicer middle section of the board and my waste, the part I'm cutting off is just the garbage on the outside. For assembly, I used Type on 3 as well as GRK washer head screws. I have several outdoor projects on my channel as well as a few in the planning stages. Make sure you're subscribed so you can keep up with all the other builds coming up. This is definitely a weekend warrior project. It took me the better part of a Sunday afternoon to design, film, and build these two panels. I did make sure to check for square along the way, but for sure this isn't a precision build. With the top and bottom back panels attached, I laid out my wire mesh and started stapling it in place. I do suggest you use the longest staples you can without punching through the front of the panel. The ones I was using were not quite long enough, so it was a little difficult to get them started, and in some spots I had to use more than one staple to hold it in place. After trimming my mesh to size, I glued and screwed in the back side panel supports. The reason I like these screws so much is because of the washer head, but as well they are self-tapping. You get pretty close to the end of the piece, even in this soft cedar, and I found it wasn't splitting at all. Oh, remember those scraps? I cut them into small squares to help reinforce the butt joints from the back side of the panel and those were just glued and brad nailed in place. So for my own amusement, I did let my wife try the nail gun for the first time. <laughs> it sprayed me, I wasn't, okay, it's fine. <clears throat> I don't like how it sprays me. Then there's an exhaust. Nothing crazy for the mounting bracket. I just basically nailed some two by fours together anyways. This gets centered um, on the back, attached from the front, and then this part will get screwed into the fence. After centering the panels on the fence, I screwed them in place. Then I could move on to the second trellis, which is an archway trellis. So here's my first bad idea. I tried using two by twos, well, two by fours that I cut in half um, out of cedar to be able to create my trellises but it's just not strong enough and not tall enough so cheaping out a material didn't work uh, i bought these metal which i'll show you in a second uh, seven foot fence posts which i'm going to hammer into the ground uh, i bought seven foot so i could go down at least two feet um, that way i'll have about a five foot height um, that i can use to just attach my my uh, trellis material to luckily my son was able to spell me off a few times as I was getting pretty tired after hammering in the eight fence posts. I'll add links to all the products I used in this build. If you have any questions, feel free to leave those in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer every question that comes up. With one side of the archway trellis in place, we were able to zip tie the mesh to the fence posts. Then I could move on to attaching the mesh to the opposing side. And no joke, that was it. This project was done.
I'll be honest, I hesitate even filming this because of how simple I found it. But in reality, I did a lot of legwork to source out the right materials and design the most cost efficient garden trellises. So I do hope you'll hit that like button and even take the time to share this video. It all helps me grow this channel. Thanks again for subscribing and watching two other outdoor projects that you can check out next. We'll see you on the next build.